Wait, this is gonna be... Oh, this is thumbnail damage right here. This is thumbnail damage. You ready? Ooh, I'm not gonna actually put it on thumbnail, but ready for this? Let's see it. Let's see it. 55k! <laughs> All right, what is up guys, it's Mitch or Deity, and I have just finished Vigilante Glenn, or well, quote unquote finished. I have him to where I want to test him. I don't want to put all the resources into him to completely finish him just yet. I don't think he's going to be that great. Uh, we'll be able to see the damage and everything here. I built him a little bit slower than I typically would if I were to like try to have him for an RTA build. We're just going to be testing him in Arena today. And then I'll have Gildor tonight. I'll probably do another video on him on probably another build tomorrow. But I did do Symbol of Unity. I wanted him to have the maximum hit chance possible. He's exactly 50% crit chance since he gives himself the crit or the crit damage or uh, crit chance buff. 333 crit damage. He is missing attack because I don't have imprints on him. An extra 144 attack. I couldn't do this anyway because I've been using the chain stones on my RTA units. Uh, so I couldn't do this this week anyway because I used it on uh a maru this week i don't know but either way i wasn't able to do the attack extra which could give himself an actual 144 attack which would land him at uh, pretty good almost 3700 attack 220 333 kit damage i think he's gonna hit hard with gab and then this gives bonus damage and extra hit chance it is not maxed out i might max it out today i don't or i might have the coins we'll see but the, like i said this is just for testing but if you're new to the channel i am getting very close to hitting uh 11,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate if any of you are willing to do that. Maybe we can hit it today. That'd be cool. But I'm going to go ahead and show the skills real quick before I almost exit out of it. So this I just leveled up. I didn't want to use any more. I couldn't get any more of these. I've farmed like all of them. i farmed for like the last 12 hours to do this video. Uh, I've leveled this all the way up, so we'll see max damage. And then I went out and did this because I didn't take any catalyst. So... And his Awakening Tree, though, I didn't do some things, just so you know. He is only plus 19. So with that in mind, I did not level his dual attack chance. I didn't give him extra health. I only put his extra chance to dispel when debuff from the caster. I only put that up to a little bit because I didn't think it was going to be necessary. And I didn't do the combat readiness after using quick fire. So quick fire will give you an additional 15% combat readiness. That is his S1. But we're just basically seeing the damage on him today. And that is it. So let's go ahead and see if I can figure out a team to fight i'll probably cut maybe this part of the video out we'll try it i mean i want to see his damage but they're going to have vigor buff and defense buff in those scenarios so let's see if we can one shot through it there's almost no chance right so this will hopefully put four debuffs three that, that'll work that's an oh it pushes me back that's bad actually eh, that's a bad i don't think it matters i think it'll be fine so he won't steal the defense buff then so we'll go ahead. We won't soul burn here. Ooh, but if we don't soul burn... All right, so Dilbet just doesn't push up enough because she's getting pushed back from Celos. I didn't think about that. I'll just go ahead and play it safe and just hit this. So I don't want to give them evasion buff. <laughs> Ooh, I could have gave them evasion buff, though, because Glenn would have hit it, right? Glenn would have hit him anyway. So this will go into crowd. That's fine. So he's already used to analyze and assess. He's used his S3, which is good. Now, Dilibet, we'll go ahead and just rip. It'll cleanse um, Glenn, which Glenn has self-cleanse on his kit, too, to get rid of it, and his skill tree. So, show counter, that's whatever. Rim counter? No rim counter. Okay, so here we go. Now is the chance. So, they do have vigor buff, but no defense buff. So, we go ahead and do this. This gives us greater attack buff. We're on Pensa and everything. We have 100% crit. This is... We're looking good. All right, let's see the damage on the rim. 27,607, and they had Vigor buff. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Wait, how fast does he get back into his skill again? Uh, Two turns. So hold on, let's try to survive for two more turns. Mm, we need to get rid of... Actually, I think the uh, the Robbie's going to kill Krau here, but it doesn't matter. He can't revive. Hold on, I want to see if I can get one on the a Ravi. I want to see the damage not on a water unit. Uh, I do have attack buff. I can extinct this now, but the bad thing is now he has a Ravi dual attack every turn. Ooh, ooh, barely. Ooh, but it's going to be focused on the Dilba. Dilba is on Secret Scythe. We might get a chance here. Wait, did he just do 11k on a non-mullet S1? Hold up a second. He just did 11k on a, like, plus 3 S1. What was that? Dang! Wait, his S1 damage is actually wicked. 
Oh no, he's going for Glenn. Stop! Oh, you little turd. I can't believe that guy. But that was actually... It was that S1 damage. This is nothing to... Like... Okay, it might actually be pretty good. It's... Uh, okay. Alright, well that's the first match. So we got to see the damage on Rem. So without the Vigor buff, it would have been... Probably a little over 30k damage. But hold on, let's try to hit a non-water unit though. Okay, so I Glenn, okay, this unit is something else. So it most a lot of defense either have Bellion, Bellion, or Politus. Both of them make Glenn you can't soul burn him, you can't you can't get the full effect out of him. So he is maybe a Gildor unit. I'll say that. Like trying to use him in this, like he's maybe we'll we'll just say he's a Gildor unit at this point. I am gonna try to do two more attacks here real quick. Uh, I am going to do this one first. So in my mind, the way this is going to go, Pierre rips S2, debuffs me, then rips S3, and then I cut up, I cleanse, Violet will counter, Ravi will probably counter, knowing RNG, and Remru will counter, giving defense buff to the enemy team. Once he has defense buff, uh, is there a way I can strip it, actually? Nah, I'll just go ahead. I'll attack into defense buff, and we'll just see how much damage it does. So that's that's what we're going to do for this one. It's just, w with all this stuff going on, because you don't want to have him go first and have... Because you have to kill Rimuru if you let him go first, if you build him really fast. I think if you build him really fast, he could be really good. She just landed no debuffs. What was that? He just landed no debuffs. Okay, so now Dilbet isn't going to go. Oh, she is going to go. Okay. Okay, good. This is how I expected. Now Rimuru will still defense buff. Okay, we're fine. So I'll analyze and assess, and I'll hit my crow, and we'll we'll see the damage while they have defense buff, because otherwise I don't think we're gonna be able to even see the damage anyway, without some kind of thing going on. The meta is not the arena meta is not for Glenn to be a usable character in. A couple fights, there, like I, like I was saying, there's a few fights here and there that he can maybe work but so ravi has defense buff the problem with defense buff is gives oh, i can't even click on it yeah i can't even click on it without attacking the wrong unit uh but i'm gonna go ahead and hit into let's hit the violet first actually yeah we have all the hit chance let's hit the violet 15k with defense buff that's not bad so essentially he's gonna one shot anything like that's just the way it is he's going to one shot whatever you hit with him and his S1 damage seems pretty good. So maybe he just might take a different approach to his build. It could be it. Maybe maybe try... I'll try out some different stuff since I built him. But for the full damage attempt... Look at his damage though. His S1 damage is actually pretty dang good. And it has a chance to decrease defense. So you gotta think. I'm missing 20% damage on this hit right here. Alright, and I'm gonna attack a water unit. So watch this. 16k! Missing 20% damage. That's pretty good. I am not going to lie. It is pretty good. I want to try to see if this Ravi can survive long enough for me to rotate back in to uh, Glenn's skill, but I doubt it. Luckily... Ooh, okay, so how long does Glenn have? Glenn has one more turn. He just needs to live one more turn. That counter sucks. Ooh, the Ravi missed crit. That was big. But he's defense broken. Hopefully the Ravi kills something and revives right here. Nice. Okay, so he'll get the revive. What is the revive? Remory, that's fine. Okay, so I'll go ahead and break this. Wait, this is going to be... Oh, this is thumbnail damage right here. This is thumbnail damage. You ready? Ooh, I'm not going to actually put it on thumbnail, but ready for this? Let's see it. Let's see it. 55k! <laughs> that's some pretty good damage from a 3-star, I have to say. All right, but overall, I still don't see too many places where he'll be very good. <laughs> but 55k, that's some, uh, that's some big old damage. Uh, that's one, though. I really think I'm going to reevaluate, because if you build him more bruisery, he might be usable. <laughs> Maybe. He'll, he, I mean, uh, for RT, he would be a fifth pick unit, obviously. But the problem with him is, like, say right here. What's the fastest unit you think right here, actually? I want to try this. So, hold on. Let's have Glenn go first for this fight. 
And let's see if he can just one-shot something straight out of the gate. And then my Lionheart Sermia doesn't have an artifact on because she's my usual one that Glenn's on. I'm just going to put... I'm going to try to just one-shot uh, her right away. I'm going to go ahead and put Blue Corral here. And then I, I don't want to use Milam because it's cheating, but I don't want to use Hua Young either. What if I use Hua Young, though, and I S3 right away into it? Do you think if Belly Encounter... I think... Glenn will die. Well, let's try it. This will be the last one. Yeah, I know she doesn't have an artifact on. It's on Glenn. Okay, so Hua Young will just take turn one. We'll immediately go and hit... Who do we want to hit? Bellion or Rylet, or uh, Violet? I think I'll just go straight into... Go straight into Bellion for this one. Because if she's on... She probably is on injury set. So this will be the least chance for her to counter. And we almost one shot, and then I can go ahead and rip S3. And we don't have soul burn here, so this will be the non soul burn damage chest. Okay. Oh my god, wait a second! That was no soul burn! You don't have to worry about soul burning him. That's kind of wicked, actually. No soul burn? I think I want to kill Violet first, actually. Because I don't want to have him countering with Crow. I'm going to try for the Violet kill. Even if I miss it. Oh, I hit. Oh. That should be good. Uber yeah, okay. Dude, Hawaii Young, she is what you would call a good character. There's a maybe a chance Bellion could beat me here, but I doubt it. Once she can S3 again, it's over. If this doesn't... I mean, even if this blinds me, because she's so... It doesn't even matter! Dude, Hua Young. Hua Young's a good character here. She's blind and speed down? Oh no. Now I'm not. She's so strong. It's insane. Okay, but Glenn though, that was surprising. A 26k damage, no soul burn. Maybe he does have a place. The more I'm using him, the more I'm using him, the more I'm realizing he does pretty good damage. Okay, so this fight right here. We'll try to one-shot the Apoc Robbie. Let's see if we can do it. That's a lot of value, because that means I can lower his damage, raise his speed, which I wouldn't even really have to lower his damage once he actually had uh, imprints. Alright, I need this to actually debuff me. Alright, we're boomed here. This is see, Lily's landed nothing, thank you. Kind of sad when you're actually, like, praying to get debuffed. Alright, so this guy has Carmen, Vigor buff. Oh, wait, that's bad. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's... That's not what I wanted to happen. Uh. Uh. Do I still S3? I still S3. Dang. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to happen at all. Who is his Ravi going to attack into is the question. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, he's going to have... Okay, that's really tanky. I, no shot Glenn would have killed there. Okay, kill this. Carmen then rips, but his thingy will cycle out first. The bad thing is my Glenn's the fastest unit, right? So he's gonna go first. Yeah. Unless I can build up my bar here and have Dilbet go in front. No, I couldn't. It's fine, just this one. S1. Oh, I already cycled out of my thing though. That's unfortunate. Alright, I got the counter, so I'll heal a little bit. Apoc Ravi will uh, S3 me now. Which will bring back AOL won it. Oh no. Yep. AOL's back. So that's one. Okay, uh, Glenn now. How many turns for Glenn? Glenn needs one more turn, so... Go ahead and hit C, Lilius. Simpson Seed out of that. Okay, I'm actually glad I brought Apoc Ravi now. Okay, so Glenn can S1 this. Spec T will kill it. Again. Okay, now. No, no, no! Why are you hitting Glenn? Oh my goodness, why? How is my Apoc Ravi at full HP? Apoc Ravi's too broken. Nerf Apoc Ravi, please. Luckily, these are both light units. They're both gonna focus Apoc Ravi good. Yep, hit Apoc Ravi. Alright, here we go. This is the test. Glenn barely lived. So let's see. Through Carmen. 
He d they don't have Vigor buff anymore, but there is Carmen. Let's see if I can one-shot the Apoc Robbie. Nope, 19k. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That His S1 does some serious damage, though. I will not lie. All right. That's it's not bad. That was a pretty bulky Apoc Robbie with Carmen in the back. But, uh, I don't know. He's definitely a fantastic Water Slayer, though. Because you don't even need Soulburn. He will hit for 25k without it. And is S1 having that? I think... Okay, well, I'm just trolling now. Uh, I think his overall uh, has maybe has a place. And especially Guild Wars. And the thing is, he's the kind of unit, since he's good against a specific element, and is able to be built fast, in the future, it is possible that you might be able to use him against like new characters that come out that are water. So... As of right now, he's I like I, I will be completely honest, I don't think he has too much of a place, but pretty I think he'll be a fun character though. He's a I think could be a good addition to the game considering he's an SC unit. He does give extinction for people who maybe don't have Milum or Tomica or the other options. Alright, so last attack for the video though. Let's see how much damage we get out of him. He does cycle back pretty quick too, and I don't even have the full runes on him. He could be getting extra cycling when he has ones. So, could be even better. 16k to a Carmen. That was soul burn though. So damage mitigation really lowers the amount that you do. But overall, my assessment of him is uh, insane against water units. Pretty, pretty average against other units. But we'll try... I might try him on counter set. Imagine a counter set Glen... Because you saw his S1 damage. If he has Gab on on counter set and actually has his things up, that could do a ton of damage. And if you land the defense break and his S1 CR pushes, it's kind of like Landy in the terms of the S1 CR push up. Like counter Landy works. Maybe counter Glenn could work decently. But definitely would have to lower the damage. Well, it might even have to lower the damage on counter set. You just have to lower the speed a bunch. Build them like 180, 170. And you, you, well, you want some bulk on him though. So, yeah, you would lose some damage. But even having 3,000 attack, 280 crit damage would still be very good damage. But overall, let me know what you think of him. Uh, let me know if you're going to build him or not. I appreciate you guys if you watch till the end here at this part of the video. Uh, if, like I said, if you're new to the channel, you're going to subscribe. It'd be awesome. If you want to see any of the stats on any of my units, you can join my Discord. Link to that down in the description. Uh, I will be streaming on Twitch tonight probably to do his Guild War debut. But other than that, I guess I will see you all hopefully in my next video. But I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace out.